Hello then, folks, and welcome back to another video. It's me, Ben. I thought we'd take a trip down memory lane today, go through all of the saves I've done in over eight years of Football Manager YouTube saves. Let's go through all of them. Let's rate them from Hall of Fame to Forgettable, which hopefully we don't put too many in Forgettable. You can see here, I've got my list of, uh, of, of saves down the bottom. Every save that was of just over... 20 episodes there or thereabout. There's a couple with a few less, so we'll sort through those. But we're going to do it in chronological order from 2014 to 2022 and go through the highlights and the lowlights of Dr. Benji's Football Manager YouTube career. I should have put just bottled. In, it. in fact, let's change this from let down to bottled it because that's... That's in keeping with me. Of course, if you want to get yourself the game for £32 and five pence, you can do. Use FM23Benji at Fanatical. There's a link in the description. Click that. Takes you all the way through. I'm getting it. Who should get it to? We're all getting it. So there's only one place to start then. It was 2015, but FM14. And it was the first series we ever did on the channel. That's right then. We're going to kick things off with Canary Island. So it's quite difficult to know where to put the first series. A series that many of you won't have seen. It was my introduction into, into, into Football Manager content. Content. on youtube anyway i did twitch a little bit before that i think based on the fact that it's my first series and there's a bit of like mystique around that we'll go strong early we'll go in worth a watch just to see how i've progressed to now really or regressed however you want to look at it it was a good john roddy was the hero of that save i remember that bit well him and lewis grabbing what a duo all right we followed it up then 16 episodes long it was it was liverpool and it was life after louis louis had just left liverpool it seemed like the perfect bait to save and as a liverpool fan it made sense that my first save of a new game era would be in there i think i think it's kind of forgettable and that sounds really bad but i think in terms of the series that existed on the channel i've done liverpool a few times and out of all the liverpool versions we've done that's probably down there a little bit so i hate to say it but it's probably that like you you're you're you didn't you don't know it exists so we'll go forgettable didn't bottle it but it's definitely forgettable all right next up to brazil and ah oh, it was such a difficult thing people always say why don't you do saves in other countries right i'm going to firstly put it in underrated and see if i agree with that um it's funny because it's the sort of save that you do that people want it for ages it was called easy as abc it's easy as abc uh, it was only 10 episodes long but it was because it was such an early save for me i kind of remember it well i think it's underrated to the point that it wasn't a bad series but people just wouldn't watch it because it's in brazil there are loads of games like two league systems a local and a, nas a national league system brazil was complicated again i didn't really bottle it we didn't get to like a conclusion we just did like a couple of seasons and it was fun we had a play called rogerinho that was fantastic again hopefully i'm spiking some memories for some people um but overall it's forgettable i want to put it in underrated i really do but i can't all right next up we're going for a heavy hitter and we're going for the swindon lot now this was the first save i, I feel like oh, it's, it's between the top two this is the first save that really like hit people i think with that with oh this is the sort of content he's going to make is it it was the last series i ever did without a face cam but there was a lot more humor involved i was myself a little bit more i would say the first few series i sort of worked my way in and i do think based on the fact that there was a play called pixie in this craig tanner a hero of that save as well but because of pixie it's definitely in scenes i don't think it's quite in hall of fame which i think i'm sort of basing on my reaction to it and your feeling towards it as well so we're doing a bit of both where it's like 70 percent what i thought 30 percent what you thought and we can sort of marginalize where it goes i'm gonna go i'm gonna go scenes for the swindon lot pixie was a hero craig tanner was a god and i had mario Goetze in at swindon quite early on it was odd uh but yeah we'll put it in scenes all right next up ah oh, i feel like I don't know. I don't, okay, I'm going to put it in worth, worth the watch. It's Girlfriend versus Football Manager. And it was Ellie, my current partner of the time, for FM15. And we, we did a couple of versions of it. But the, the one that people remember the most was definitely Girlfriend versus FM, where she was at Kukuriki. But the first few episodes was Ellie just learning the game. I was going to play Sims earlier, and then I fell asleep. <laughs> yeah, this isn't yeah. quite like that. This is a bit different from The Sims. Yeah. So what are you expecting in, in your management career? Well, on this, I can't make 
them have children. And basically, so she came up with a classic sentence of, isn't this hit just hitting continue? And ruined my... I thought my life was over at that point. Fortunately, for another seven years, we've managed to do this as a career. But yeah, that was a good moment. I put it on Reddit at the time as well, and people on Reddit really liked it. People just enjoyed it. I think it's worth a watch. Like, I just think based upon where it was all those years ago, it was something different. No one was doing that sort of thing ever. And so, yeah, I was, I was, I was creating a new genre of of women and football manager at that point in time especially so there we are worth the watch it's sort of it's like it's like in the hall of fame but for a completely different reason and then we come to Palmer drama get it in there now whether we'll order these or not i don't know yet we'll come to that towards the end but for me Palmer drama was the first series i did on the channel where people really got on board like that was that was a real big moment for me of people being genuinely excited about the series that i was making every single time there's a new upload people were game for it i had a bit more of a storyline with that one players like monier and messi were a part of that side one was a regen obviously won a hall of fame himself but it was just palmer palmer drama it was it was everything i ever wanted it to be and it lived up to expectations. Grew the channel a lot as well. Lots of you will have joined me in the early stages of that of that journey. That was, that was sort of pre 10,000 subscribers for those that are interested. But uh, yeah, man, what a series. I uh, Yeah, I love that one so much. All right, that led us sort of from the end of FM15 to FM16, where we decided to do, and I'll, I'll add something to this, the Manchester United save. Not as, not as epic as it was back then. Whether my first save with a team that obviously not really supposed to like as a Liverpool fan with Manchester United. It was the Ebro. I bought in Ebro and Pogba who then went to Manchester United shortly after that. So I definitely felt like I had huge influence. If it's my fault, United, that your transfer strategy wasn't it wasn't that good, it's kind of my fault. I did sign Danny Graham or some Maratta in that save as well. I'm sure again, I'm hopefully I'm triggered a few memories, like positive, good memories of the time. Um, but the Manchester United save then, I think was probably an underrated save. I don't think anyone would ever say it was like one of my best saves, but I do think it was just a really solid save. And I didn't bottle it. Underrated is probably a little bit harsh than like worth a watch, but. No, no, I think these are two are the right way around. I'm going to put it underrated. I think it was for a beta save as well. It was pretty good. We've got a mix of beta saves and main saves, but it was it was right up there. It was better than Liverpool, but better than life after Louis. And then we followed up. We stayed in Manchester and we went for the big, the big guns are coming out now. Lots of you found me during this save. This was a huge moment for the channel once again. The Salford story was... For many people, that is the pinnacle. That is at the top. So, like, to swap those two around is probably fair. Like, it was the save. I, I sort of I latched on to the idea of the fact the class of 92 were buying a football club and there was documentaries being made about it. It was lots of talk about it. Sorry, Ben. Don't... I was running late. Not you. You can't be... No. You're the chairman. You're the new one, are you? It's you. Yes. Yes, I am. And coming off the back of a Man United save, there was lots of United fans, again, you may be one of them yourselves, that were invested in that suddenly, in that journey. But lots of people were. It was a lower league save to the top. It was a custom database. Like, it was it was an amazing time. Amazing amount of fun. Andy Tannoy was, again, a huge part of that. I'm sure, ladies and gentlemen, number six. It's Andy Tannoy. It was like, you've not only do that for a while. It was, uh, yeah, it was it was amazing. It was, one again, it was... It was when people think of my channel and think of me, they probably associate with the Salford story, lots of people. So, uh, yeah, a stunner. But into the Hall of Fame. Easy. No no questions asked. We then did a save that okay, hopefully, I really hope that I'm taking people down memory lane here called PSG Homegrown, where we basically went to PSG and I feel like it's worth a watch or underrated. It's, it's, it's here somewhere. I'm not quite sure. I might stick it underrated for now where we did a save of PSG where we, we removed all of the like national team players that weren't from France and we just made this French, this dominating French lineup. I really like the intro I made for that one as well. I, I sort of messed around with their badge a little bit. But I definitely think it was an underrated series in that it's not one one people will talk about, but I think from what we did with it, again, I'm not, not sure many people had done that type of thing at the time. So for that reason alone, I'm going to go underrated. Bottled it's looking quite bare there, but believe me, we can feel that in a moment. But not with this one, because we then moved to Leicester. And this was, I think, worth a watch in terms of a series. It's kind of close to scenes, actually, because, of course, I put on the infamous, infamous, uh, infamous, 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 uh, Fox suit, get the word out. Mr. Dr. Benji, uh, this is Chris so proud from BBC Radio Leicester. How does it feel to be the new Leicester City manager? <clears throat> I'll be honest, Chris. 
No, I had in mind. That fox suit heads body thing. And um, I basically bet people that if Leicester won the league, or even finished in the top four, I think I said at the time, I would do a save with Leicester where um, I wore a fox costume. Well, thank you so much, Cardio Ranieri and others. They did it. And as a result, we did a save. I feel like it's better than these two. I have to say it. And I think because of the era, because of the moment, and we, we got Adria Bellotti was a part of that. We used a Christmas tree formation. Oh, it was a wonderful time. Um, so yeah, worth a watch, I think. If they still stand the test of time, that's pretty, that's pretty strong. Now, next up, we've got an interesting save because it was Road Trip, which was my first ever journeyman save, really, where we went around loads of places in Europe. I wrote, I wrote some down. We went everywhere, basically. So, for those that remember, we started in Romania, went to Ukraine, then Ireland, then Morecambe, Dresden, Stuttgart, and Dortmund. So we went around a little bit, a few different countries uh, of different names. And Shola Amiobi joined me at one of them, and then I left him there, having been sacked. Oh, it was a disaster. I feel like it deserves to be in scenes. For a long time, I didn't really rate it. Like, personally, didn't really rate it. With a lot of different intro pieces of the Ben Sports News. I've grown to love it and appreciate it more now. Like, it was a big technical effort from me every single day. We were in a little van <laughs> driving around Europe. <laughs> like, for that reason, I think, again, because it was one of my main saves that year, it's right up there. People have wanted a road trip too for a while. I've always wondered. But yeah, uh, we'll put it in scenes. I feel like it deserves to be up there above some of these ones as well. All right, next is a save that we were going through this list on my stream the other day to figure out what saves should be on this list. There's 30 in total. And the complete playthrough of Liverpool, I totally forgot was even a thing for whatever reason, which admittedly means it probably has to go into forgettable, as harsh as that feels for me. But also, that's probably the reality of where that save sits. So... As much as it was probably underrated at the time, because it was a complete playthrough, it is kind of forgettable at the same time. But arguably my best Liverpool save. So I don't really know... Oh, I don't know what to do with it. In fact, it wasn't 19, so it was 17. Got wrong Liverpool badge there. So it was 17, complete playthrough. We basically did, in, we did two seasons where I played every single game in a video. And it was a complete playthrough. So, yeah. A shame, really. Okay, when you think back to it, 76 episodes... That'll blow some people. For those that watch Salford and Palmer, that'll blow their minds that that was 76 episodes. It blew mine. All right, we followed on from the playthrough with... Uh, we harped back a little bit to the days of Palmer as we brought about the Espalion job. Now, say what you like about the Espalion job. It's one of the greatest YouTube titles for a Football Manager series of all time. Um, there's no debate there. The Espalion job, a stunning name. And again, it feels like it's definitely worth a watch. Might be like the, the, the very pinnacle of worth a watch. But we had a player called Dorian Heiser. And uh, there was a, I think it was like Renzi or something. Herbs and Spices were their nickname. I don't quite think it's in like the scenes or Hall of Fame area for me. But it's definitely worth a watch. Like it was, it was a real strong save for me. Um, again, sort of piggybacks off the back of the Palmer series where Spal did a madness for us in one of the episodes. And for one reason or another, you then fall in love with the team like Spal. And, and yeah, we made a whole series just about it. Um, Doreen Heister. You deserve to be... You might, people might argue with that. If we were doing this live, people might want that to be slightly higher. But I don't know. Do your own list. Do like a top five and see where the spelling job makes it into many of them. In fact, yeah, that's a good idea. If you're watching this now and you, you're thinking through some of these saves and the memories you've got from them, of course, I don't think anyone would have watched all 30 if you have. Yikes. Uh, that's a lot of episodes of a lot of me. It's too much of me, if anything. Um, but yeah, leave your top five. I'll read through some of the best ones. Again, a copy, a copy of FM23 is waiting for someone too. So get involved in the comment section. And of course, like the video if you haven't already too let's move on then go out it was an arsenal save okay so doing beta saves is always tricky because you're always trying to pick a team that there's a lot of interest in my beta save this year i'm doing a couple um one international one club and you can figure you can probably figure it out it's always tricky to find the right club and sometimes you really gel with one and like life after louis didn't necessarily work as well but the manchester united save was a real strong save and then go out it's kind of in the middle of those two, but I don't really want to put it in bottled it because that's probably a bit unfair. It's probably in the underrated section of that it was a real, like, it was a real battle of a save, but a real fun journey at the same time. Underrated just feels right. So that's that's where we're going to put it. I'm not sure it's go, like worth going back and watching it, but like, yeah, I don't know. I, th I feel like all of these kind of are for different reasons. Probably if you're a fan of the club, it's probably worth it. But we're into FM18 now, and there was, a, there was a save that was the pinnacle of FM18. Again, one of the saves that would have brought a lot of you to the channel, and it was Thames FC. And it feels 
obvious. It has to go in Hall of Fame. It's one of the... If, it, if there was a Mount Rushmore of my saves, which I think there are probably... There's one more that I think definitely has to go into the Hall of Fame. But yeah, this, this one for Thames FC definitely has to be there. An incredible journey with a team that I created, again, based off a team that existed hundreds of years ago, 100 years ago. Um, yeah. Dun, dun, oh, 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 I missed that save. It was a banger. Some of you bought shirts and stuff. Oh, take me back. It was so good. All right, next up, we're going with Dortmund. It was a let's play. It was the beta. Unbelievably, we're straight back into a beta for FM19. Football Manager had just acquired the Bundesliga license. And, I, and it lasted, what, seven episodes? And I wish I hadn't done it. I sort of used it as an introductory guide to the new game. I didn't care. You didn't care. Bottled it oh dear not even not forgettable because i can remember it well and i was sort of talked out of doing a premier league size and i've just i threw that out the wall and it just about stuck but my god it was uh yeah it wasn't a fun experience that's the first time i'm gonna really be down on one of the series i created it's only seven episodes i, c I can be i panicked so much so that we brought about the liverpool save uh, in fm19 i did two better saves i was like forget doing something different with dortmund it was quite exciting doing dortmund they were a bit like i don't know they were they were the, how do you how would you even describe it? They were like the team everyone's they were everyone's second team abroad for a period of time, right? With Royce and a few other guys there. <sighs> Sorry, get it out of my brain. Gotta get it out of my brain. Uh Liverpool then, we did that as a beta save. That didn't bottle that. Like that's again, probably in the same section as a lot of these beta saves or big clubs. I'm noticing a lot of the big clubs, whether it be United or PSG or Arsenal or Liverpool, all going in there at the moment. So if you're fans of those teams, it probably makes sense. Like Liverpool had a really good size. It was sort of like a job of finishing it off. Liverpool had won the league yet so it's my job just to get them over the line and we did again it was quite a lot of episodes actually it wasn't quite a lot it was 15 episodes i must have won the league i think i did win the league spoilers for those who haven't watched it but again underrated for that it's unforgettable i don't know what i think i'm doing yeah get it in there terrible as if my liverpool saves have been forgettable i have to rethink my beta plans <laughs> oh god now oh we're at the point well, I've been dreading this bit, viewers, honestly, because we're going to talk about Central Park Rangers. Oh, Central Park Rangers. So, <sighs> Central Park Rangers is the save that was and never was. It was 20, was it 21 episodes long? I had this infatuation with New York that I've talked about on my stream a lot and get mocked for quite a lot. And I always thought that was going to be like the, the big save of the year. Planned it out crazily. Like hopefully we're running a bit of the intro here as well. A guy called Rick did an amazing job on it. It was an amazing intro. And it never came to anything because I lost everything on my computer. I was having blue screen issues with my PC and reset my PC on one of them and lost everything. Like everything. I lost terabytes and terabytes of stuff. All of the stuff you can see there in the list. All of the assets and everything I had for all of those saves gone like it was heartbreaking but i've got to put it in bottled it because i blue screen i pressed the button on my computer after it was frozen for six hours it's on me and i'm um, i'm um, oh, what could have been with that save what could have been i hate that it's next to the dortmund one as well because the, the amount of work that went into that custom database everything oh the pain and at the same time, I had two saves going on. And AFC Wimbledon was that save as well. And because of the situation, I kind of bottled that one as well. I, I, I tried to rejuvenate that one a little bit. But when you lose everything, you'll know like when you were a kid and you lost a game save and you're like, I'm never going back to that ever again. Or you have a crash dump on a game these days. It's like, oh, I'm done for the night. I can't play that anymore. I mean, that's an entire series. It's so heartbreaking. And with AFC Wimbledon... I had a similar situation where because I was only four episodes into that one, I rebuilt what we'd done previously. So it wasn't as if we lost everything and I could carry on the series. But motivation wise, oh, it's kind of shot. Like it hurt me, hurt me deep inside. Back things up is the is the memory, is the memory and the motto. Back things up, do it now. Right, on to the next one. And after this period of time, I really had to look look inside a bit, but like, well, what am I gonna do with myself? We're kind of trapped. I need a new save of some sort. So I went home. I went to Boston, boys, the place I was born. I d I've never lived there, but I was born in the hospital, Pilgrim Hospital. And me and, a, bit of, a bit of YouTube uh, trivia. Me and Wet the Space born in the same hospital. I know, bizarre. Uh, but Boston, boys, I think 
it's worth a watch. That period of time was really good. I think I'd probably put it about there, like in the middle of worth a watch. It was a really interesting save that then bled into two more saves. So it became a bit of a journeyman, but we almost restarted where we were at. And Hero to Villain followed it. And again, I'd probably put that in worth a watch. Like these three saves, you can see with the, with the title, I realized that they all sort of interlink with one another uh, across the top. They were really like, I feel like they were actually, they're all underrated. Like in, in that, like they are probably are worth a watch, but I think as a series, it's difficult for not just me to get back involved and stuff, right? But for people to enjoy a save that I was doing again. But I do think they, they kind of, they, they were a nice blend put together. So um, we'll get them in underrated. Not that you lot didn't rate them, but just I think I at the time probably underappreciated the fact it got me back into Football Manager at that period of time, which after losing everything was was massive for me. And then the beta came around and I'd done, you can see, I'd done, apart from Chelsea, interestingly, I'd done all the big teams. So it was like, well, where am I going to go here? I need something, right? I need to do something with one of these sides. Where will we go? And I decided that Tottenham was the place to go. It was my one of my longest beta saves ever. 38 episodes for that. And I think it's well worth the watch. It was taking a Tottenham team that couldn't quite get over the line. That's always been a bit of a theme of my beta saves. Getting a team to push the extra, the extra mile if possible. Or the extra inch. And that Tottenham team was definitely one that I enjoyed doing it with. We built up a real strong side. Had a really good campaign. I won't ruin that because it's quite recent. Uh, Harry Kane, of course, at the top of the uh, top of the tree. And yeah, worth the watch. Like I, I'd say that was a pretty solid episode. Probably pretty pretty solid series not forgettable i think a lot of you again probably enjoyed that one so um yeah worth a watch that one oh, it feels a bit, feels feels like that and manchester maybe manchester united's worth a watch you know that period of time i'm gonna i'm just, this is why we're doing a tier list i've got to make big decisions but what followed that viewers well i talked about the mount rushmore of my youtube saves and this one this one's got to be in there it was fm20 it was the main save of fm20 and boom, Glory Hunter was born. I, th I said it on my stream, if I die tomorrow, that is part of my Football Manager legacy. Uh, the Glory Hunter save. My idea, for those that have never seen it before, we've got to win uh, every top tournament, uh, every top competition club and league in the top five leagues in Europe. So that's Germany, Italy, France, Spain, and England. Um, and then you've got to win the World Cup, the, uh, the European Championships, the Champions League, and the Europa League. And you've got 20 years to do it. And we've... I think a couple of times we'll come to the next one at the moment but yeah the first time around we went from Inter to Dortmund to Arsenal to Inter again and Germany was a nightmare and France was impossible but definitely worth the watch it's a Hall of Fame series it was 217 episodes <sighs> if you've got the time give it a go before FM23 comes out it was yeah it was it was phenomenal glory hunter not one to forget and sort of towards glory like glory hunter was going on but i thought i'll give i'll give new people something fresh as well if possible newcastle had a big takeover and magpies millions was well, actually no newcastle didn't have a takeover they were rumored to and i was like well i'll jump on that bandwagon and did the save and they didn't get a takeover until like a year and a half later but magpies millions i think for the time which it was again just before the whole conversation about newcastle that's probably worth a watch like again it was just before they actually did it but there was lots of so much talk about it i had to do something around it so yeah worth a watch definitely definitely get involved with that one so far only three bottled it that's not too bad oh okay never mind all right fm21 20 episodes with leads uh i bought like it was called leads united i feel really harsh putting it in bottled it but it never it didn't really have an ending i was like yeah this should probably end because i can't do what i want to do with this save and i want to get onto my main save and I think interested it was pretty fair weather. Like it's a, no, it's never a criticism of the audience. You're gonna like what you're gonna like. It's not it's not really anyone's fault necessarily. Um, some things connect really well, some things don't. I don't think it's forgettable because again, it was only a few years ago. But um, yeah, Leeds United. Ah, oh, did I bottle it or is it for, un, is it forgettable? It's definitely in one of them. Yeah, I guess I bottled it. Oh, okay, speaking of something we didn't bottle, AFC Thames. They're up next. So of course, after the success of Thames FC, three years later, we did AFC Thames. It was the main save for FM21. I'm just looking, we did 186 episodes. So my second, no, third, third no, fourth longest series ever. So it was Thames FC, no, sorry, Glory Hunter 1, Thames FC, uh, Salford, and then AFC Thames, which I think goes probably into scenes quite neatly below Thames FC. Um, 
it was it was really it was just such a fun save again the team's journey was really good we had a natural rival in Thames fc the goal was to come better than them and eventually we did that not all of the saves i've done in this like in this category actually end perfectly like Thames fc didn't end perfectly and sometimes they don't right salford yeah we, we got the storybook ending but it's not always the case with saves and i do think sometimes not having that perfect ending is important like I've got to be real with you guys. Sometimes it just doesn't work out the way you want it to. You do, not every single save ends in a Champions League final success. Like, it just doesn't work out like that sometimes. It'd be, it'd be unrealistic to think that every save I ever did was successful. You yourself with a save that you're doing, right? Sometimes saves just don't work out when you stop doing them and start something fresh. When you're doing it on YouTube, you can't do that. So you need to find endings sometimes. And so uh, AFC Thames was one of those. So into scenes, definitely a memorable series. Definitely one of my favorites. And um, yeah, definitely reasonable to put it in there too. <sighs> I almost don't want to include. FM22 has been rough. What can I say? FM22 has been really rough. And yeah, there's been plenty of stuff going on in my own personal life that just like has has made things. And when I say personal life, like I haven't got loads of home issues and things like this, but it's just a case of like, other than not being able to have a house during this time, it's just been mentally draining as a year, like the last few years coming out of COVID and everything. and everything going back to normal but not feeling normal has been a real challenge for me and i'm pretty sure this was like the start of that a little bit this year when you start badly everything from then on feels difficult and it was a bit of a struggle and i didn't have the launch to fm22 that i was hoping to and hopefully we rectify that this year with fm23 and we go all guns blazing and my motto this year is less talking more doing so let's let's hope we see that happen um but it was the manchester city save which I'm pretty confident I had COVID during that time. And it was five episodes and no more. And my body bottled it, frankly. But it definitely doesn't deserve to be anywhere but there. Um, yeah, a shambles. And while we're talking of shambles, let's throw this year's Glory Hunter into Bottled It. Maybe Did I end it prematurely and taking it to Twitch? Maybe. Is it a decision that I've got some regrets with? Absolutely. Like, you never... Any content, any content creator will tell you like having to cut a series off early or finish it or change it or do something with it that you didn't want to when you started it hurts. And 85 episodes of this, like it's a, it, what we did was great. It was just so different. Like the difference between a Hall of Fame series, Glory Hunter, and the one we've done previously, or the, or the one we've done this year, so more recently. It's such a shame to put it in there because you, and it's, and it's a shame that any of these series, like it's so funny, like Glory Hunter 2 was such a big moment of like, let's do that again. It's going to be great. Everyone loved the first one. Let's do it again. And Central Park Rangers was like, let's create a club. It's like Thames FC. Let's do it again. And two of the, those two series that I put so much work into that just like dissipate and don't become anything. I mean, it's, so, it's soul crushing. And I ultimately feel like I'm letting you lot down when it happens. But I have to be honest, we're doing a tier list. There it goes into bottled it um a different type of journey to the first one and i i take responsibility for it now again it's not on you guys um and we round things off with saving derby county which i think based on what the supper with derby county worth a watch you know let's end positively it's worth a watch and that then concludes my tier list for my football manager saves over how many years i think this has been about half an hour this 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 video so if you've enjoyed it leave a like on it disagree or agree is there's one you would change here massively that was that is like a lot stronger for you people always ask me it's a conversation i get all the time of like which is the best football manager for you and i don't have a best football manager i have favorite saves and i, I associate my favorite saves with the best football manager and um yeah after fm22 being a year to forget Let's make FM23 unforgettable. And I'm looking forward to it. And hopefully you are too. Thank you for the support over the years. Thank you for getting me to the position I'm in where I can do this full time still. And uh, here's to FM23. And thank you all for watching any of these. It means a lot. Oh, a bloody Dortmund save pisses me off.